Welcome back, loyal viewers. This is an unusual deal for us. What we have here is a nice house in a nice neighborhood that doesn't need a lot of work for a really, really good price. Uh, this is a single family home. It's a two bedroom, one bath located in a neighborhood called Covedale that we are very fam familiar with because Veen and I both live in Covedale. It is not a retail deal. I just showed you that apartment building next door there that you can see on the left of your screen. It's a well-maintained apartment building and it doesn't seem to be have any issues, but it's still an apartment building. So this is a rental or land contract deal. I think this house is particularly well suited as a sell it to an owner occupant via land contract. And you'll see why when we get inside. Um, we're in the entryway, and you saw there just wasn't a lot to do outside. Cut the grass. Um, this is uh, this house is owned by a little old lady. You can tell, right, by the stuff <laughs> and and sort of the uh, the updating that was last done in 1972 or whatever. Um, but the upside is this house has been very very lightly used. There's not a lot to do here. Yes, I know there's wallpaper on the walls, and if I was going to turn it into a rental, part of me would be tempted to come in and neutralize everything, certainly take up the carpet and have you know hardwood floors. Um, but as I was saying for the, the land contract sale, I would do close to nothing to this property. I would fix the back door. They had a break-in after the owner went into the hospital and her plumbing got stolen. So now there's new plumbing and alarm system. But you can see the place is clean. It is functional. It is neat. It has not been beaten up by 50 years of abusive tenants. Um, so they're all that crazy, you know, every single thing and system in the house needs to be touched by skilled hands just isn't here. So uh, I'm going to take a look at the two bedrooms up here, and then we'll take a look at the bathroom, which is also sadly out of date, that if I was going to do the rental route, I would update a couple things in there for the land contract route. I don't think I'd do anything in there. I mean, I'd clean out the furniture, maybe try to sell it. Um, if the I don't know how much of the furniture is actually going to be in here at day of closing, but if there's a couple pieces, you know, big deal. Um, you notice there are hardwood floors upstairs as well, as we just saw by peeking into the closet. We've got two good-sized bedrooms up here. They aren't headbangers or anything like that. Um, so it's just beautiful. This is an easy deal. Um, buy it, do a couple things, clean it out, rent it. You know, uh, nice house, off-street parking, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, in the bathroom, we see the vanity from 1972. We see the melanamine on the walls, um, which, you know, it's not, it's not um, aesthetically appropriate anymore, let us say. But I'm going to trust a land contract buyer to be able to handle that kind of thing or live with it. Um, so I'm not going to tackle it. Uh, for a rental, yeah, I'd probably change the vanity and change the shower surround in here to either vinyl or ceramic tile, which is my preference. Uh, but that's probably where I'm going to stop, you know, neutralize the house a little bit, de-age it a little bit. But this thing is really very cute and shows very easily. So we're headed downstairs into the basement. The, the stairs aren't as steep as they appear in the video because I'm using a wide-angle lens. But there is a few things to make note of down here, some good, some not good looking, but really actually pretty value neutral for our purposes. Circuit breaker box, professionally done, of course, modern meter, nothing to change there. You see some signs of foundation damage. Now, the, the I've been in the building in the rain, it's not soaking wet or anything, but it is built kind of on the side of a hill, so the foundation has some cracks in it. Um, newer water heater, new furnace, high efficiency, all that stuff is good, um, and new plumbing, uh, plastic, but again, professionally installed, so no worries there. And you can see some of the patching that they've tried to do on that back wall. I'll get a better look at that in a second. Um, the 90% of the cure for that is make sure the gutters are functioning properly and the rainwater is being dumped out, not against the back wall of the building. 
but even if I'm going to do something about this, what I'm going to do is kind of clean that up and paint it, and I there's no fix that needs to be done to the foundation there. It would cost an insane amount of money, you would get almost no benefit from it, and it certainly wouldn't raise its value as a rental. So let's sum up real quick. We have a nice house in a nice neighborhood that needs almost nothing. It's available to you for just $26,900 cash. If you're going to land contract it, you're going to do close to nothing. If you're going to rent it, you're still going to do very little. This isn't going to be some months long pain in the butt rehab. Uh, you're just going to be able to turn this and rent it very, very quickly. This is a cute house. So I encourage you to contact me. My information is there on the screen. If you want more information, if you have a question about it, if you want to go in and take a look, I'm happy to help. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Bye-bye.